Uh, I think definitely the ongoing Tessa Jowell story. She's left her husband now, or separated from yeah. him. Yeah, I think you can be a bit hard on Tessa Jowell, though, because, I mean, the point is that she didn't know about the gift, and she didn't know that her mortgage had been paid off, and she didn't actually know she was married to David Mills until she read about it in the Sunday Times. <laughs> The thing is that, that, I mean, some people say that, that did they split up genuinely or is it an attempt to save her career? Apparently, what really tipped the balance was when she found out for the last ten years he hasn't been sending off the pool's coupons. <laughs> <laughs> he's been pocketing the money. He's obsessed with money, isn't he? Because he's married a woman called Tessa. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this! <laughs> Aren't we asking quite a lot of our politicians to actually notice £350,000 in their bank account? For some of us, it's a lot of money. <laughs> Channel 4 News, they paid a big bucks. <laughs> but as relationship blunders go, it's quite serious, isn't it? It's not like he's come home pissed and had a slash in the wardrobe. <laughs> sure. You know, you could get over that. He's ruined you... her career. You know, that's quite a serious thing to do, isn't it? Ruin someone's career. You can't yeah, make that up with, you know, breakfast in bed. ruin their own careers by going on Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like me to be the cat? <laughs> yeah, OK. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight it's going to be a very different kind of eight hour thing. <laughs> Did you like the fellow? Did you like George Galloway? Um, at first, I thought he was like really crafty, he had like shifty eyes and everything, but he completely changed my mind about him by cheating and lying. And then I realised that from my gut instinct, he was a very horrible man. And do you know so, what? So sorry, at first you thought he had shifty eyes. <laughs> And then you realised he was horrible. <laughs> you really changed your mind, yeah, didn't you? Really... Yeah, yeah, I realised he was horrible, then I realised that he was actually all right, but he weren't all right, cos he turned out that he was actually yeah. horrible. When someone changes your mind, you've got to end up in a different place than when you started. That's, that's the whole nature of changing one's and mind. Do you know what the funny thing is? I was on a shoot today, right, and I come out, right, on... <laughs> no, 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 I'm like living that, right. the dream. I am living the dream. <laughs> living the dream, but I walked out right on a street, a London street, with no one else around, and who do I bump into? Was it Batman? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, George Galloway. Yeah, because he's following you. <laughs> Was he in the back of a van with some binoculars? <laughs> oh, what a coincidence, Chantel. <laughs> How was it when you bumped into George then? Did you? It's just he asked, he asked me how my nan was, which was the first question that came out of his mouth. How was your nan? My nan's fine. <laughs> Are you sure that isn't just a slang expression yeah. he uses? <laughs> how's your nan? There's <laughs> some place they call it a pitter. <laughs> well, let's have a look if Tessa Jowell is one of the most talked about things this week. Oh. Yes, it oh. is. Dave, your team, what else have the nation been talking about this week? Is it uh, the Oscars? I like uh, Reese Witherspoon saying that uh, she dedicated the whole thing to all the men that had ever dumped her. And you think, well, they don't care, do they? They're all sitting in the pub going, I've shagged that Oscar winner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was lying about Hal Berry, but I have shagged this one. <laughs> the thing is that you've got Reese Witherspoon, who, uh, who earns $28 million a film. She's got all those pubs, right? <laughs> 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 you know, and they're packed. <laughs> no, you try and get it served on a Friday. <laughs> Crash beat Brokeback Mountain, didn't it? It was controversial, though, wasn't it? I mean, I thought those guys in Brokeback Mountain were shafted. Really. Mm. <laughs> I think the best thing about watching the Oscars is actually watching the nominees sit there when the winner's announced. Because I've been there. Not actually at the Oscars. Not the Oscars, but, you know. no. no. <laughs> Have you, you never been to, to the Oscars? No, the Challenge Game Show Awards. <laughs> <laughs> I've sat there, and, you, and it, you sit there with the camera on you. Probably a throwaway camera, isn't it? <laughs> 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 you, you have to sit and smile for it, though. Let's have a look and see whether the Oscars were one of the most talked about things this week. Hey, hey. Yes, they were. 47% of you were talking about the Oscars. It was a vintage year with films nominated dealing with such controversial issues as racism, homosexuality, gender reassignment and suicide bombers. Britain won an Oscar for a film about a plasticine dog that likes cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what else have the nation been talking about? Is it uh, Kate Moss? One, one of her in a sanctum. She said when she went to um, South Africa, she stayed at Nelson Mandela's house, which was in, she took cocaine at Nelson Mandela's house. Isn't that toilet. where Del Boy lives? 
<laughs> That's probably what's happened. Yeah. There's been a mix-up. Yeah. She was in Peckham buying gear. <laughs> I just like the idea that he would have to go back to jail because they found a load of coke in his toilet. <laughs> <laughs> a bit unfair, wouldn't it? Come on, Nelson, get back in. <laughs> Dave, have you been following the Kate Moss? Well, yeah, so at some party, she, she snorted a line up off the carpet. And it must be like when you're hoovering at home, everybody pick your feet up, they're all like that. Oh, <laughs> like that. Well, she does this advert now. She's on some advert on the television for makeup. She always pops up on that. And she gets out of this car in the morning. It's, how oh, does she look so lively and fresh faced? And, oh, where's that energy come from? Bolivia. Bolivia, <laughs> probably, yeah. I can tell you that Kate Moss wasn't one of the most talked about things this week. In a recent interview, Kate Moss complained of memory loss. She said, yeah, it's terrible. I get these flashes of bright lights and I find myself standing around doing nothing in my pants. That's your job, love. You're a model. <laughs> 25% of women pretend to be pleased when what? They never, ever are. <laughs> I mean, sorry, um... <laughs> Everything all right at home? <laughs> Is it when their husband brings them flowers from the garage? Do you get annoyed at that? I flowers don't... from the garage? I've never had flowers from the garage. Off a lamp post, then. <laughs> <laughs> That's just lazy, isn't it? It's just lazy. <laughs> It's one of the sins, yes, lady. <laughs> when their husbands get their photos published in Reader's Wives. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey. Brilliant. Well, they accepted them. <laughs> well, hold on, they've got the town wrong. We're not from Doncaster. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's happened to Dave, isn't it? <laughs> You wouldn't put Charlie on it. I've seen you! The black mark on it. I'd recognise that silver bonce anywhere. <laughs> I'll give you a clue. Uh, the answer is related to gift giving. I Something else you buy a lady. What else you buy ladies? Uh, underwear. Uh, underwear. Correct. Lingerie. Well done. <laughs> Britain is the angriest nation in Europe. True or false? How would you measure who's angrier than who? If you took the Scots out, we'd probably be all right. <laughs> I don't know. I think... Ang English football fans are the only people who, when they visit another country, the police there have to go into special training weeks. <laughs> and you know that every time there's like a tournament in Spain or something, the local police are all in a field beating cows to death with a truncheon. <laughs> Get some practice in. No, but Scotland, I went to Scotland once when all the rugby was on, and all there was was like fat men with no tops on kicking each other in the street. That... <laughs> that was our Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> we can't be the angriest nation. I mean, we get angry, but we just get quite vexed, don't we? never follow it through. If you're on the phone to somebody getting really, really annoyed on the phone, our idea of getting angry is getting angry when you've hung up. And it's so go, yeah, right, yeah, no, you see, you're not... Yeah, OK, right, oh, fair enough, yeah. You... <laughs> People argue with me, they say I'm Keith Chegwin, and I say, no, I'm not. And they say, yes, you are. And they, and they row with me. I'm not Keith Chegwin, you bloody are. I'm Les Dennis, don't be ridiculous, he's dead. <laughs> Actually, let somebody say that to me. Bless him. Can we just get on with this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he looked at you like you were a young monkey. <laughs> <laughs> like he was just going to rip you apart like that chicken wing. That looks like... That's me after meeting your mum. <laughs> uh, Britain is the angriest nation in Europe. True or false? What do you think, Sean? No, it's false. It's the Swiss. They're livid. <laughs> You're going for false? It's false. False. <clears throat> you are right. <clears throat> I can tell you that the answer is false. Britain is Europe's second most angry country after Portugal. Yeah. <laughs> Which means that Portugal go on to meet Iran in the final. <laughs>